a tree I got everything I She sits before the mirror's glare, fingers tracing her fragile hair, short brittle strands that fall too thin. She wonders if they'll grow again. Her jaw uneven, she tries to hide in every photo, in every side. She tilts her head and adjusts her face, but nothing seems to fall in place. She hates the way her image shows, a beauty that nobody knows. Her hair, her face so out of line. She wishes for a different design. It feels so jagged, so undefined, a puzzle that she just can't seem to solve. She hides behind her quiet smile and prays that her image will evolve. She dreams of waking in a skin that doesn't make her shrink in shame, of hair that grows, of features so bold, of leaving all of the silent blame. But one day, She'll see the light inside and love the features as they are. Her short hair, fragile though it seems, will shine like every guiding star. Her jaw, her face, and balanced truth is formed by battles that she survived. A woman born of quiet fire, unbroken, worthy, and alive. So what you want? I don't know. My new bitch look like Katy Perry But she don't love me, she's too scary My old bitch front like Jackie Brown I don't wanna know but she too damn Will you be my leading lady? I want a contract, get no baby In the meantime It's the meantime I'll be doing what you want Baby, I don't love myself I don't know Leave me here, I'll fuck myself See me in the mirror, I duck myself Don't need much, I'm fuck my wealth I've been a few hours, but it felt like days Only been days, but it felt like months Look off away, only go like once Like who fast me, you know what it's time to go where I want Hope you know what you want What do you want? I don't know You play loud Creep by the beach like Odell No, my mom, my killers don't tell Shut down my mom, got the Louis off the shelf Now my bitch is dead to the nail Will you be my leading lady? I want a culture and get no baby. In the meantime, I don't know. Cause in the meantime, I don't know. You know what you want. And it's been a few hours, but it felt like days. Only been days, but it felt like months. Don't talk for you, only go like once. Life moves fast, and you move on. This time I'm doing what I want Hope you know what you want So what you want? I don't know Welcome back to another vlog. First and foremost, if you are new, welcome. My name is Najee. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell notification button too, so that way you don't miss out on another vlog. Now, <laughs> I'm supposed to be doing these weekly vlogs, right? But I be in my head, and y'all know I be in my head. And I didn't post last week because honestly, I didn't have nothing to post. I didn't do anything. I've been working, I've been in the house. 
And I was like, you know what? I can't let that stop me from creating content, from doing what I love, for showing up for my kindred. So I decided to come up with a little segment. And this segment is going to be called Enjoying My Rent. Because that's exactly what I've been doing. I've been enjoying my rent. Like for real, I literally just be in the house. I be working, because y'all know I work from home. And I've been do being Mrs. DIY. Brandon has been being Mr. Fixer Upper, Mr. Handyman up in here. So figure I just capture all of that. I'm just gonna capture all of this. So this segment is gonna be for all of my homebody kindreds, all of my kindreds who are in the season of enjoying their rent. Y'all, rent is expensive. Rent is expensive. Rent is more than the average person's mortgage, okay? So, you know, people be like, oh, you're doing all that stuff to your apartment, you don't even own it. Or you're doing all that stuff in them people's place. Da -da -da. I show is, cause I'm paying rent and rent is expensive and I want to enjoy it. I don't wanna just look at these white walls. I wanna do something else up in here. I'm gonna do all that I can do. I'm gonna paint these walls. I'm gonna put some molding on these walls. I'm gonna put some panels on these walls. I'm gonna do all that I can do up in these people's apartment, okay? Within the guidelines of what I could do. You know what I'm saying? So, I figure I just capture all of that for my kindred, okay? Y'all, I just woke up, so please don't mind me. I know my face might look a little, hmm, but I'm about to wash my face, and we're about to get into this apartment and enjoy this apartment that we freaking work so hard for to freaking rent. <laughs> But no, there's benefits when it comes to renting though. Like, cause I be damn, my little monies that I got put to the side, if I gotta wake up one day and spend it all because I gotta do some home repair. I'm not in that season right now. I'm I'm personally, I personally, I'm not in that season right now. I'm in a season where I can pay my rent and then if something go wrong, I can call them folks and be like, hey, this wrong, can y'all come fix this? Please. I ain't even gotta say please cause they gonna come fix it cause I pay all this money in rent. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, I'm in this season of enjoying my rent. So, let me do what I do in these people's apartments. Okay? Thank you. But yeah, I'm about to go ahead and wash my face, y'all. I have been using, okay, I've been using two cleansers lately that I really, really, really like. I be trying out different stuff, but I really like these two cleansers. First and foremost, you can get this at any type of drugstore, Target, Walmart, anywhere. CeraVe, the foaming cleanser. My friend Adrian, he lives in San Francisco. He's always been like a skincare guru for me. Um, I met him when I was in the military. I don't know Can I buy my Mrs. DK Mama always told me I'm a handsome guy. What the damn God does she write? So keep me his face with CeraVe and then he just recently put me on with the um, foaming facial cleanser. Absolutely love this and it's super affordable. Oh my god. I um, don't think I'm going to ever get rid of this ever again. Now it's cool to do, you know what I'm saying, two cleansers when it comes to your face. So as of recently, well I got this in PR, this Beauty Stat cleanser. As you can tell, the baby's almost gone, which I'm a little sad. I'm like, dang. Because, hmm, I mean, I mean, it's worth buying, though. But I would love to do a nice little outreach and be like, hi, I love your cleanser. I would love to work and collab. Da -da -da. But anyway, so this is the Beauty Stat Universal Microbiome Barrier Balancing Cleanser. Y'all, I really like this cleanser. It gets into my pores. It be getting all that nasty stuff out of my pores, especially after wearing makeup, like wearing a full face of makeup. I absolutely love this. So this is really, really good. If you have my face feel also moisturized and stuff, my face feels so dry right now because I just got finished brushing my teeth. And last night, I know I shouldn't have did this, but when I washed my face, I literally just washed my face with the CeraVe last night. And then um, I didn't moisturize my face or nothing. And then this morning I just brushed my teeth. So I'm just feeling a little dry right now. But anyways, this stuff right here, be having my face feel so moisturized and look so moisturized. And yeah, I absolutely love this. And one of the great things about this brand, y'all, this is founded by a black man. Drop the mic. Drop the mic. This beauty set is founded from a black man. Shout out to my black men out there. Because this is thebomb.com. Okay? Thebomb.com. I also have the uh, moisturizer, like the face moisturizer. And the eye protective um, serum. And then also the um, vitamin C serum. So, I was blessed enough to be gifted with the whole, you know what I'm saying, setup regimen. Okay? So, I have that sitting 
right here um, for my go-to um, skincare products or whatnot. But yeah, I'm about to get into my skin right now because I need my skin to be glowing today, baby. Because today is giving a no makeup day. But I need to do my hair. And I'll see y'all in a second. I love this applicator, y'all. All you gotta do is poop, pop, pick, pick, pop, pop. This body. That's all you gotta do. I'll be using the Hyaluronic, Hyaluronic Serum by Osea. As y'all can tell, I'm almost gone with this one, too. Dang. She's looking a lot. She's looking good. She's looking dewy. She's looking moisturized. Sunday Riley's CEO Afterglow. Love this stuff. As you can tell, I be using, I be, I be using all this stuff, okay? I ain't gonna tell y'all about something that I ain't been using. You know what I mean? Too shy, sitting right now, no, no, yes, you. I'm gonna be using, I been, look, I swear I've been using it. The Clinique's um, Moisture Surge Lip Balm. At first, I was like, man, this ain't nothing but Vaseline. Nope. 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 It ain't. This is better than. Way better than. Ten times better than Vaseline. Just regular old Vaseline. This stuff right, this is good. I love this for my no makeup days. Like, absolutely not the no makeup, no makeup days. I'm talking about the actual no makeup days when you just wash your face and you need your lips to not look chap. Because y'all know my lips is prone to be getting chap. Do you see the lips looking juicy? Now let's get this hair together. Let's get it. Look, I was giving y'all up close and personal moment just now. That's how you know that y'all know that I should know, that you should know, y'all should know, that we all should know that we kindreds around this look, okay? We real deal family, okay? Period. Hmm. But now let me do my hair. Y'all, I did a quick weave on myself the other day. Oh wait, y'all saw. Yeah, Cause I'm nine times I've seen on it didn't blow. I am just like obsessing over the quick weave. I'm in my quick weave season. It's less work than doing a sewing on myself. Oh my god, my quick weaves be lasting a good month and some change. Okay, before I personally want to take it out, you know, cause it needs it's getting a little loose up there or whatever. But. Yeah, my, my quick weaves be lasting, and they probably would last longer if I braided my hair underneath. It's just, I don't know if y'all noticed, but I don't braid my hair underneath the quick weaves. I just go ahead, blow dry, straighten my hair, put it into a ponytail because I ain't got a lot of strands up there anyways. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking the other day when I put my little hair in a bun. I'm like, girl. So now I can feel this little knot back here. You can't see it, thankfully, but I can feel it. I'm like, girl. Why did you do that? You don't never do that. I put my hair in a one. Girl. Anyways. Turns out you're in alpha for the first five minutes when you wake up. The problem is most people get out of it by checking their phone. So put your phone down, go brush your teeth, go pee if you need to, get back to bed, sit up, and here's the technique Jose suggests you do. Sit up in bed and count backwards from 100 to 1. This will take you about three to four minutes. And as you count backwards, feel yourself relax. Because you're counting, you keep your mind active so you don't fall asleep. Now, once you're at the alpha level, you're effectively at a really deep level of meditation. This is where you can apply different techniques such as communicating with your body, self-healing, Reiki, creative visualization, and everything is enhanced. Do this every day for the first 10 days. Now, for the next 10 days, you count from 50 to 1 and you'll be able to go as deep. For the next 10 days, 25 to 1. Then on day 31 to 40, you're counting only from 10 to 1. If you do this every day for 40 days, you train your brain 
to be able to go to Alpha anytime, not just in the morning, but anytime you want by simply counting backwards from 10 to 1. Just like a hypnotist can get you to sink into a different state, at this point, you can go really deep in meditation in 10 seconds. But it's what you do at the Alpha level that's where magic happens. Listen to me very closely. When I say find something that moves you, what most of you do wrong is you're waiting for something to move you. Instead of creating the thing every day, that moves you. And the reason why I say find something that moves you, because what separates humans is our effort. There's some of us, we give 70% to what we do. Some of us, 80%. Some of us, 90%. Some of us, 100%. Some of us, 120%. And so when you move and you are moved, it allows you to operate at a whole different level. I look, I don't know what it is. I'm telling you, though, stop waiting for something to move you and move yourself. Like every day, move yourself. So in the morning, move yourself. In the afternoon, move yourself. At night, move yourself. Stop waiting for life to move you and you move you. Like be very intentional and very deliberate about moving yourself. That's number one. Look, the only difference between you and I is passion. That's it. Most of you are probably more intelligent than me in this room. You are. You're probably more gifted naturally than I am. But what separates us is that I'm moved. I'm intentional and deliberate at the first hour of my day of saying, E, let's go. So many of you are moving and you're moving on 70% or 80. So what happens to you is you're average or you're good, but you're not great or phenomenal. And if you can find whatever your greatness is and be that consistently. The problem with most of you, listen to me, the first thing is you don't, you, you're, you are moved, but you're not responsible for your move. Everything is external that moves you. Now I want you to start moving yourself internally. I want you to be able to push your buttons. You hear people say all the time, like, yo, E, bro, I was feeling it, now I ain't feeling it. That's on you. Like, you control your feelings. Don't nobody else control your feelings. So when you tell me, I ain't feeling it no more, it don't got nothing to do with something internal, external. It's something internal that you ain't pushing no more. It wasn't the house or the car or the money that pushed you. You pushed you, but you told yourself it was those things. It wasn't those things. Those are inanimate objects. Inanimate objects don't push you or move you. You push you. You move you. So if you're not being moved, that's on you. You're doing something wrong. You're not being able to go inside and push the right buttons. So the first thing is, you got to move you every single day. If you get to a point in your day and you're down and out, if you get to a point in your day and you're exhausted, you get to a point in your day and you're not feeling it, you can stop right there and change the mood. You control your feelings. You control your mood. Nobody control your mood. I want you to think about what level you want. Are you giving 90, 80, 70? Let's see what I'm saying for a minute. And most of y'all know me, you know me from where? Like, where would you know me from? Social media, where would you know me from? Say it again, social media. Yeah, I want you to pay attention to what I'm saying. Watch this, I get 120. So I just got up eight years ago, I'm sorry, 12 years ago to start getting online. It was a recession at the time. And I saw what was going on in America. I'm from Detroit, GM crashed the floor, went down, people started going to the casino, shooting themselves, killing themselves. I was like, I got a gift, I'm just gonna get online and kill it. Every Monday I would get up, thank God it's Monday, kill it. Nike never sponsored me, Adidas never sponsored me, Under Armour never sponsored me. I get up every Monday, get a world something. Then it got crazy, I start meeting people, and people be like, yo, E.T., what up, thank God it's Monday. I'm like, ooh, they feeling this. So then I start doing it every day. And then I started realizing cats is really feeling this. And I started doing it three times a day. You wake up and get three videos from me. You don't pay a dime for it. That's 120. Ain't nobody paying me, but I'm giving it out year after year after year. Boom, commercials. Year after year, meet like, yeah, I want to put you on my album. Year after year after year, I'm, I'm international. Year after year after year, I'm putting in that work. And I wake up one day, and what number am I as a speaker? Number one in the world. That pillow looks so darn fluffy compared to my old pillows. This pillow, I can already tell. I'm about to have a good nice sleep with these pillows. Oh my God. So these pillows I actually got from um, Ikea. They're really, really good. They're foam, firm foam 
style pillows <laughs> and but i think they were like 60 dollars a pop these right here i think these were like 30. these are the memory foam down alternative pillows they're like huge but yeah i wasn't in the mood like sometimes i get in my moods where i'm like i'm down to vlog and then other times i'm just like i don't even want to talk like i don't feel like talking so i just figured like instead of like putting the camera down and just like not recording at all just record even in the moments where you don't feel like talking like you know there's like parts of there's like things that i was recording last week that i wasn't talking wasn't in the mood of talking and i know i'm gonna like figure out like how i can edit it to make it make sense for you guys but yeah a lot of times your kids just don't want to talk a lot of times your kindred be in her head. A lot of times your kindred just be like thinking, mine be gone. But I'm still gonna pick up the camera and I'm still gonna record. As you can tell, as you already heard, I was listening to Eric Thomas just now. I needed a little bit of motivation. And he literally just spoke, he posted that, or that was posted seven days ago. He literally just spoke to me. He spoke to me. I'm pretty sure he spoke to one of my kindreds too. He spoke to me. The, the not feeling it is an internal thing, not an external thing. Like. So even for me, even when I'm not feeling it, it's kind of like, okay, now they just keep pushing it. It just, at least, at least, at least people the camera, turn the camera on. And then you can figure it out later. Cause you're a creative girl. Like you're creative. You can figure out how you can like edit it and like make it make sense for your kindreds. But the fact that he was showing up for his people every day and then it turned into twice a day and then it turned into three times a day. Oh my God, if I could like post three types of videos a week for you guys, that would be great. Like a vlog, a sit down video, and then a beauty video that's the goal so and it's very much possible you know you can make time for what you want to make time for i mean i be busy but you make time for what you want to make time for so and i'm gonna make time for my channel y'all i know y'all still can hear me say that but it's the truth this is the quickest way to claim yours i did it and it only took three minutes out my day first and foremost what was that what was that I've seen some stuff that, you know, some AI stuff that look like so real. Even this new 2K game looks realer than that. What was that? What was that? It had me even question. I'm like, is that even like a real voice? Cause y'all know that I haven't tried it yet, but it's the AI tool where you can ask them to speak in your dialect, in your language, all that. I'm like, did they do that with her? Cause what was that? Like, it the face looks so real the mouth obviously was not and but what if the face won't either i don't know and then the voice and then it's just i don't know y'all the commercials they getting real lazy they don't want to pay people to just do a real commercial you're gonna use that come on y'all lord well i only got what i'm 30. Damn, I'm 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. I got 60 more years to go. I wonder what's going to happen in 60. Yeah, I wonder how the world going to be 60 years from now. Anyways, y'all, I'm so excited about them pillows. <laughs> I'm excited about them pillows. I'm excited to go to that bed. Now, that's how I be for real. That's why I don't be vlogging like that, because I be just like this. But y'all about to get all of me. <laughs> Y'all, I am just obsessed over our room. Do you see how everything just like came together? It's so cozy and so cute in here. Okay, period. Let's get into the details of me enjoying my rent. Okay, so y'all remember we did the walls. We did the moldings. We got the lights, Amazon, the mirror, Ikea. We got this cute little thing. I'm pretty sure y'all have seen this everywhere from Amazon. And then, um, you know, the dresser, I think Amazon. Yeah, Amazon. And then the cute study area. Let me show y'all what I did to the study area slash work area, okay? I didn't know I needed this, okay? Well, I did tell y'all I kinda needed this, but I found something even better and it was cheaper. So basically it mounts onto the desk and you can put your drink up here and then I can store all of my like stuff that I don't want out on this up in here and I might go ahead and put my batteries up in there too but this is so cute and it rotates so you can tuck it and hide it you know we love this okay so this is so cute this is the little study slash work area and then the tree wait did I show you guys the olive tree 
in the last vlog? I don't think so, y'all. We got a nice, cute faux olive tree. We did not break the bank for this tree. It's eight feet, I think. I think this is an eight foot tree. And I got the the plant base from, I uh, not Ikea, I'm sorry. I got the plant base from Amazon. The light from Amazon, which at night, it looks so cute because you can see, you can kind of see it now, but especially at night when it's not like bright outside, you can see the light in the trees in the ceiling, which is so cute. And then I got this like black moss thing to kind of like fill it out. Y'all, this is so nice. I'm obsessed with this tree. I'm so obsessed with this tree that I'm literally gonna get another one to put in the living room, y'all so beautiful and i'm about to get back on my keyboard i'm about to get back to my music y'all okay period at night you can definitely see like the cute spotlight on the keyboard and then let me show you what we did with the dresser so i got this cute little bowl nice very nice good quality from Amazon. This is where we're gonna hide the remotes and then, you know, something to hang out. So cute, you can't even tell. Look at that, look at that. This is nice, sleek way to hide the remotes. So cute, love. So I didn't wanna go with the typical, like, Chanel books and all of that good stuff. So I came across this um, book by Deborah Willis, Black, A Celebration of Culture, and it's basically, a book with a bunch of pictures um, of like black people throughout the past like century, right? So they have um, a children's section, everyday life, work, the arts, beauty, Saturday night, Sunday morning, sports, portraits, spirituality, celebration, and yeah. So I need to create me a photo album. I need to find all my photos. I got a lot of photos actually. I need to create me a photo album. Create me a nice little book to put out in the living room so people can look through when they come visit. You know, I used to go to your grandma's house and uh, she had the photo album and she pulled the photo album out. Look at my babies, look at my grand. Oh, I don't know when the camera shut off, but yeah, this is so cute. And then uh, look at this. Uh, I'm in love. Okay, this smells really good by the way. I got this from Amazon. And then this statue, this little lady, black lady. She's so sexy. I got her from Amazon as well. And then instead of doing like the typical flower um, arrangement, I went with cotton because it reminds me obviously of like our hair. And then obviously, you know, the history of cotton and us being in America and stuff like that. So I went with a cotton stem and it just looks, I think it's just, I think it's just clutch. It's so cute. And then this Jasmine candle. And then this is pyrite. So this is like known to be like fool's gold. But it's also a representation of like manifestation, abundance, protection, and all that good stuff. So I did get this from Amazon, but I also prayed over it. Um, and I thought this was like a cute additive to put onto the display. We love that because we want we want protection, okay, in this home. We want abundance in this home we just want to manifest all good things in this home okay opportunities love prosperity wealth okay we want all of that good stuff that's the bedroom it's such a vibe i'll show you guys later tonight what it looks like when it's like super dark outside but yeah she's a vibe we did that we did that i would love to swap this out but brandon told me that i like he's like Man, you doing too much i really do <laughs> i really do want to swap that out to like something more I don't know, aesthetically pleasing, but yeah, it's so cute. Okay, moving on to the living room now. Okay, this this pillow is not gonna stay here. I was just trying to see what it would look like if I added a pop of color onto the sofa, which I think I'm gonna do. I found this really cute um, pillow off of CB2's website, and I was like, oh, that'd be super cute right there. So I'm thinking to get another pillow. I'm gonna get two more pillows, another texture pillow, and then like a color pillow. And then we got this really cute media console, okay, from Wayfair. It's actually on All Modern, but they also had it posted on Wayfair. It was on sale, 40% off. 40% off, it was on sale, y'all. I hate to get it, okay? It's time for lunch. Remember to wash your hands. It's also lunchtime, y'all, I'm hungry. But yeah, it was on sale, they have it in black, 
they have it in cream i think and then the brown um i went with brown because i felt like it complemented what we had going on or what the vision was especially with like the brown on the stationary bike the brown panel i kind of wanted to do this with like um gold and black accent pieces at the top and then we gotta get a area rug and then a coffee table. I think we're gonna DIY the coffee table, but yeah, this is going to come together. I was thinking to put the tree right in the corner. I think that's gonna be so freaking cute. And then um, getting like Nala a cute little like bed situation over here or a sofa situation over here so she don't get back on my sofa. I had to get a sofa clean. I don't know where my camera cut off. But anyways, yeah, I need to take this stuff and put this stuff away so we can clear this space out so we can visually see, okay, what we need. So we're, we're obviously gonna get a dining room table and then we also need some bar stools, so yeah. Y'all, the kitchen is a mess right now because I gotta go through all of this stuff. I gotta go through my makeup and I gotta go through my skincare products. This is like the stuff that I got from Marshalls. I need to change my battery because my battery's about to die. But yeah, we got, we got a lot to do. I got a client at 3.30. Brandon gonna be home early. He'll probably be home by four. So I need to make sure I get all of this stuff done by 3.30. Y'all, I made some some sloppy joe it was like my version of sloppy joe last night so we got some leftovers that i'm literally about to devour like do you hear me so i'm gonna take my pepper jack cheese from here joe's i'm literally about to pop that baby <laughs> in the microwave just just like that I'm about to put my thing on broil. And then I'm gonna take my brioche buns. This is about to be so darn freaking good. Do you hear me? Show me how you want it to be. Tell me, baby. Cause I need to know now I'm begun My loneliness is killing me and I mm -hmm. I still believe you Still believe When I'm not with you while you're not Give me the This shit hot. Hit me, baby, one more time. So basically what I did was took some ground turkey and I took some sriracha barbecue sauce and some honey and some onions and some spinach and then my pepper jack cheese and that's my, my version of a sloppy joe. Y'all, so good. Oh, and I put some, um, I put some ghost pepper steak sauce in there as well. So I forgot, it's ghost pepper steak sauce, just a little bit, cause that stuff's spicy. And then the sriracha barbecue, and then honey, and spinach and onions, with the brioche buns, and some butter, and pepper jack cheese. Y'all, it's so good. Y'all, this tastes, this for real, for real tastes better than, tastes better than, tastes better than Little Riley steak. Okay? If you in Atlanta, you know what a Little Riley steak is. <laughs> I'm gonna eat my food. Come with me. 
walk out your faith and also be one with God and not be a hypocrite. Right. But a lot of people, unfortunately, are hypocrites. Yeah. That's what draw people to be like, so I'm just supposed to be perfect. No, but you got to learn. Just like that, like that, we went out to the club, don't like your tell her. No, Jay? Uh huh, what happened? Don't like your tell her. When y'all went where? To, to um, B12. Okay, what you talking about? I said, you don't need to be drunk here. Oh. I kept telling her that. And which, which I tried to get her to leave with me. Get wet. Got caught up in the day. I didn't drink no more. I just didn't want to leave. What no, you had already had. You had already had like five, six shots. Not shots. Yeah, but, but I didn't want to um, leave. She was warm in. That's But she didn't do bad though. Mm -hmm. We had a good time. I, didn't, I wasn't drunk. I did not get drunk. It was like it just stopped me. I know. I love. I know. But all of the. These are not. These yes, they are. Like all of the things are tight. I swear they are. Yeah. All of the things are tight. I swear they are. It's probably because it just. Did you do it yourself? No. Nah. Yeah. She had what's the last one? No, I did one of them, but Brian did the other one. Is that? But they're both elected. It's just so silly. Every <laughs> single, every single um nail is literally in tight enough. Oh. Okay. Oh, they must just be in the car to make it here. I'm saying, where, where they shooting at today? Warehouse. Some of what we was just saying last time, or all the way to North Cross? No, North Cross. I ain't going out there. I was going to go with you, but I ain't going out there. I'm going to just go home and cook, get up some food with it. Mm. What you want to eat today? You're going to give me the money for the lamb top? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Good baby, lamb top is not cheap. <laughs> yeah, it's like 20 bucks. Nah, she don't okay. count. I'm gonna just make her real pretty today. I'm not gonna be doing makeup like you. I'm not gonna do a full live feed, folks. Why well, doing makeup? You gonna have to cut the camera someday. <laughs> you be hiding the product anyway. That it ain't about the product to take me. Look up. Tired of you getting up on me. <laughs> then she gonna say, "Oh yeah, I want you to use the twice there, please." I get a check for why it's helping me. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just playing, sister. Girl. We had girl a girl told me she always comes to me here, and, and I'm like, I get a new check, and she's like, no, you don't have to pay me. I'm like, you don't even influence her. It's like, what? <laughs> she was like, can I get a discount? I'm like, girl. I, I kind of understand <laughs> what they're saying, because it's like, if a person is beautiful and you use them, because uh, they're yeah, a perfect like, model, you do post them. I'm like, cover your face. Like, I just want to put your hair. Well, you should have done a mirror that says, no, she didn't even go. back home from um, doing Aaliyah's hair and um, on the way home I had stopped by Chick-fil-A and got some food now I'm home as soon as I'm coming up to my apartment door the maintenance man is standing outside my door putting his um, ladder up because I had did a maintenance request for my ceiling fan because it was making like a lot of noise so as soon as I'm walking up he's like is this you right here I'm like yeah I opened up the apartment door and he was like basically showing me like what he did to fix it and he was like you have the best apartment in the building I was like what he said your walls the molding you have the best apartment in the building and I was like what he's like yeah I knew it had to be you because when you was walking up I was checking you out and I was like yeah that might be her apartment it looked like that she was like she looked like she played the piano and played jazz music while she gone <laughs> he was like yeah so he like was touching my walls he's like what is that i was like it's just paint he's like it looked like it's texture and i was like i know he was like how'd you do it and i was like i just do it <laughs> to say i have the best apartment in the building is crazy i say i love that for me okay i tried to call brandon to tell him that i was told that we had the best apartment in the building but he answered the phone he at work <laughs> but yeah, I'm about to eat my food, decompress because I feel a little overstimulated. I'm gonna decompress, calm down, and then figure out what I need to do for the rest of the day because I don't have no clients today. But I do got here to prep for tomorrow, Friday, and Saturday. So,
attempted, well, I didn't attempt to. I washed my makeup brushes and I attempted to dry them, but using the blow dryer and the towel method, and it ruined my brushes. I was not expecting that. So basically, they bubbled up and popped, and now the internal wood is exposed on a lot of my brushes, and that's gonna like give me the ick, that's gonna irritate my soul. So these brushes I'm gonna have to replace. I'm so sad, but I cannot work with these brushes. These brushes are horrific and they make me itch. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to let those babies go and invest in some new brushes. But I'm so sad because the majority of them are Morphe brushes. So these are the only brushes that I have left. So tomorrow we're gonna have to go to um, Ulta or something to get some, um, some more brushes. Or, matter of fact, tonight I'm gonna look on Amazon and I'm gonna see what type of brushes they have. Like, dupe brushes they have. Oh my god, I went to Marshall's the other day, y'all. Y'all, I'm, look, generally, I'm like a TJ Maxx type of Kendrick. Like, I'm a TJ Maxx home goods type of Kendrick. But I went to Marshall's the other day and I was like, oh my god, this place is so organized. Like, I have never been to a Marshall's that was like organized and neat and had and was fully stocked. Like, this Marshalls that I went to was fully stocked. It looked like a TJ Maxx inside, okay? So, yeah, I was, like, having a field day up in there. So, I ended up getting, like, a um, some, like, bags because my makeup kind of been, like, all over the place. And I kind of want to just, like, go through my makeup and cleanse because I have makeup from years ago. Like, I've collected a lot, a lot of makeup. Like, a lot of makeup. So, I ended up getting this little bag and this little bag. But I'm like, which one do I want to use for what? The PJs that I had on yesterday, they were $19.99. Those type of PJs you would get from like Target for like $35, $35. Amazon, forget about Amazon. They gonna charge you a good $40 and that's not even including the shipping and all the extra stuff. So yeah, I was like, okay, give me some nice, comfortable, soft, good material PJs and robe. I got a new robe, the same robe that I got from um, Target for thirty dollars, not including Texas. Well, this robe was twenty four ninety nine, but a steal is a steal. A sale is a sale. A, 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 a save is a goddamn save. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I was like really enjoying my time with the Marshall. But I. <laughs> Tomato-based chicken. Tomato chicken. Yeah, generally we would do like a pasta or something, but I did mashed potatoes. Hopefully you like it. I ain't never did before. Uh, mm-hmm. Nice, huh? It look good. Mm -hmm. Tell me if it tastes good. I, cause I, I think I put a little bit too. Cause, cause milk is almond milk isn't thickening. That's no chicken. Huh? That's no chicken. That's just sauce and potato. 
Well, what the potatoes taste like? That's it's actually good. What did you? It's good? That's why I tried that first. Period. Kind of nasty. Y'all three. Honestly. It's different, but it's good. And when I say different, I mean because it's the first time I've ever had it. Mm -hmm. But it's good, though. Like it? Mm. I like that you left it. Skin on me. Skin I love the skin of potatoes. Mm -hmm. I love the skin of cucumbers too. I love the skin of apples. Don't skin my apples. Don't skin my cucumbers. Don't skin my tomato, potatoes. Yeah, that's good. Yay. I wish it was men already so we could watch Power. It's your turn to pick a movie. I picked a movie last night. And take your time and really think about the movie. Yeah, the movie was garbage. Well, at least really? Yes, the movie last time we saw you said it was good. And I picked it. The run of here, but that was on Netflix. I wasn't on Netflix. Well, go on Netflix then, because Tubi kind of hit and miss. Yeah, that's true. It was a bunch of indie movies and things we tried. What? I don't know if I want to make this the end of the vlog or not. I might talk to y'all in the morning. I think we might have. And you say, as long as I'm here, no one can hurt you. Don't wanna lie here, but you can learn to. Hey, if I could change the way that you see yourself, you wouldn't wonder why you're here. They don't deserve you.